You went to to the service right after high school, correct? I did. I did. Yeah. Okay. Why the army? Because the navy wouldn't accept me um, for being colorblind. Uh, that was the the biggest game changer. I, I I had a career. I could have had a career in the navy, but it wasn't what I wanted to do. Uh, I think I was going to be working on the ship. That was uh, available to me, and like I'm not a a water guy. I wanted to be a Navy SEAL, but I didn't want to be on a ship. Navy SEALs, in my mind, were not always on boats. They swam, but they weren't on, you know, six months at a time or three months at a time on a, on a naval ship. Cram spaces, I have claustrophobia. It just wasn't my thing. So after they told me for being colorblind, I couldn't be a Navy SEAL, that only left me with, you know, one option was to find another career that, or find another service that would take me. Um, my first, what I first did was come home and study every possible easy horror color vision test that I could find and hopefully be able to cheat on it. Um, I wasn't able to, they changed the test up on me. The second time I went back to the Navy recruiter and I failed that one. And coincidentally, this Navy nurse, uh, female, she was working the, in the room next to us and she heard me crying and, and stuff like that and called me into her office and she was for the army and hooked me up with the uh, army recruiter and helped me cheat on that color vision test to pass it and get enlisted into the army. What, what year were you talking? Oh, this was uh, 2004, 2004. This was 04. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you said that the, the way that you made it into the army was a nurse heard you crying and kind of guided you through the test. Oh yeah. She traced her finger on all the, numbers I was supposed to see and I just called those out but I couldn't see a thing the only one I could see was the one you're not supposed to see but everything else I was like I have no idea there's a number there, there's a letter there so she just traced her finger on it and I got a hundred percent and she looked at me gave me my paperwork and I went to the army recruiter and he's like what do you want uh what do you want to do in the army and I was like well I wanted to be a navy seal what do you guys have that are you know as close to a navy seal in the army uh, that I can get. And he's like, well, we have Green Berets, Special Forces, and we have Army Rangers. And I didn't know what either one of them were. Um, he told me Green Beret, their training cycle process was a little bit longer. Um, they deploy longer. And I wasn't, it just didn't intrigue me. They were like, he described them as like school teachers overseas. They would teach people, train people. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go fight. Um, and he introduced me to the Army Rangers. And he's like, these guys are like Navy SEALs, just take away the swimming. And I was like, well, I've been training for years on how to swim and how to scuba dive. Scuba qualified, and I, I was 15 when I was scuba qualified, but it's, I didn't enjoy it. I was terrified of it. So you take away the swimming factor of it, um, but still a Navy SEAL was the Army Ranger. It's like, sign me up for that. And uh, oh, uh, my ASVAB test, the test to take, to get into the uh, military, I was like one point below what I needed to be a Green Beret. And he offered me to take it again to get that extra point, but I was done. Uh, that, that was a struggle for me the first time. So I was, you know, sign me up for the Rangers and that was all she wrote. I didn't know much about him. I had to come home and do a little bit of research on what a Ranger was. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.